Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to do a Studio Classroom magazine article titled It's About Time. And this time I'm going to just read the article for you. The subtitle here says Who doesn't need a little extra time? Let me scroll it down and here is the text. The professor always tried so hard. No question about that. He had tons of brilliant ideas, but they never worked. Time after time, he would dream up an amazing idea that was sure to change the world. And then it didn't. The professor is going to change the world? People joked. He couldn't change a light bulb. He couldn't even change the channel on the TV. The professor ignored all the jokes people made. He wasn't about to give up. He knew that he was just ahead of his time. One day, after teaching his classes at the university. The professor had some time on his hands. He decided to stop at a coffee shop and think. And think he did. He thought so hard that steam came out of his ears. Then in the blink of an eye, an idea hit him. It didn't hurt much, but he did rub his head a little. Of course, he exclaimed, a time machine. He realized it was an idea that had come at the right time. Next page. The professor's dream wasn't just any old time machine. His invention not only would allow people to go back in time or forward in time, but also would create time. Everyone always complains about running out of time, he thought. Why not make a machine that can create more time when you need it? Or stretch time and make it last longer. Or save time like putting it in a bank with interest. He knew he had no time to lose. He was eager to create his world-changing invention. His wife, Mildred, wasn't so sure about the professor's great idea. It will never work, she doubted. You can't make time. The professor disagreed. Time is money, he explained. If you can make money and save money, why can't you do the same with time? Mildred complained. The only thing you are doing with time is wasting it. I still think you are crazy, but only time will tell. She knew that the professor was determined to try out his idea. So she decided to keep quiet for the time being. Out in his workshop, the professor drew lots of plans for his new time machine. He soon lost track of time. He created models and used clocks and timers of every shape and size. He attempted every method he could think of. He tried reading books backward as a way to turn back the clock. He looked at a calendar under a lamp through his telescope to see light years in the future. Then he remembered the saying that time flies. So, he threw his watch out of the window to see if it was true. He applied for a loan at the bank. 
He had heard about people living on borrowed time. Sadly, the banker wouldn't give him the time of day. Let me read it again. Out in his workshop, the professor drew lots of plans for his new time machine. He soon lost track of time. He created models and used clocks and timers of every shape and size. He attempted every method he could think of. He tried reading books backward as a way to turn back the clock. He looked at a calendar under a lamp through his telescope to see light years into the future. Then he remembered the saying that time flies. So he threw his watch out of the window to see if it was true. He applied for a loan at the bank. He had heard about people living on borrowed time. Sadly, the banker wouldn't give him the time of day. Finally, he made an amazing discovery, a way to save time and give him lots of extra time. I have got it, Mildred, he exclaimed. If I give up on my time machine project, I'll have plenty of time for other things. His wife smiled. Well, it's about time.